Hello and welcome to another edition of Delectably Different in the Kitchen. Today I'm making a simple but delicious morning muffin. And yes, it's gluten-free and it's actually going to be using non-refined sugars as well. So let's get started. We're gonna be putting in our bowl, we're gonna be using two cups of Bob's Red Mill all-purpose gluten-free flour, and I've put a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum in there as well. So we're just gonna put that in the bowl. Now we're gonna be putting in the sweetener that we're gonna be using, which is one and a fourth cup of coconut sugar. To this, we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Now we're gonna be adding in a tablespoon of cinnamon and two tablespoons of oat bran. We're just gonna stir this together. And if you wanna play around with the flavor, you can always add in some nutmeg or clove, make it spicier. Um, otherwise, this is gonna be just the basic, which is delicious. Sometimes you just don't need to change anything. Now what we have prepared here already is a cup of shredded coconut, it's unsweetened, one whole um, apple, which you can choose whatever apple you want. I have a Granny Smith, I like the tartness of it. We're gonna have a cup of shredded carrots. We have a third cup of walnuts. We have a half cup of golden raisins. And we're just gonna throw those all in and we're gonna stir them together. cool thing is you can always play around with it again with what fruits you want to put in it. I normally use the same base of the carrots and the apples, but then you could choose to put in maybe currants instead of raisins or cranberries possibly. And you could always switch out what kind of nut you put in as well. So you're just going to stir these together just to kind of coat the fruit and the nuts and the carrots with the flour mixture. So you don't have to do this for long, it's just kind of a couple scoops around. And the next thing we're gonna be moving on to is the liquid part. So what we have already here in the measuring cup is a cup of butter melted. I used a Kerrygold butter, which is my favorite. So that's melted. And then I've whisked together with it three whole eggs. And what I'm gonna be adding to that is two tablespoons of maple syrup. And I have in here as well, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just gonna just quickly stir this together and then just pour it all into the batter. And that's what I love about this recipe is all you have to do is maybe cut some stuff up ahead of time and you can throw it together in just a couple seconds really and you're ready to kind of just pop it in the oven and bake it. Which you are gonna wanna have your preheated oven. You wanna preheat it to 350. Uh, we've already done that so I always suggest doing that before you get started. So you're just gonna stir this around until you have pretty much all the flour mixed in. It doesn't have to be a long time of doing it, but you just wanna make sure that you're not seeing any more flour at the bottom of the bowl. All right, now we're gonna get our prepared muffin tin. Now you can choose to do um, two smaller muffin tins, the regular standard size, or you can just use one jumbo six um, count muffin tin, which is what I'm gonna go with, because who doesn't love a giant morning muffin? Really? That's what we're gonna go with. All right, now we have our prepared pan. We're just gonna put the batter in there. You're gonna do it all the way at the top. They're gonna look like they're a little large, but that's what we want. Now we're just gonna pop them into the oven for about 30 minutes, check them. If they need to bake a little longer, we can always allow them to bake, but 30 minutes should do it. And there you have it, a gluten-free coconut sugar sweetened morning muffin. And don't worry, this recipe does bake up six jumbo muffins, but in the process, two have gone missing. And I think I know where. And until next time, if you wanna leave us a comment and let us know if you give these a try, we'd love to hear back from you. And don't forget, if you'd like to, subscribe.